Elon Musk has just tweeted today that deflation is coming. And here's what that means. Everybody in the media is talking about inflation. They're talking about how prices are going up. Inflation, it's considered the silent killer because let's say in 1970, a cup of coffee cost 25 cents. 1980, it goes up to 45 cents. And now it costs $1.75. So that means the 25 cents that you had in 1970 is worth a lot less than today. Deflation is the opposite. It means the prices of other goods go down and the value of your dollar goes up. It sounds really nice, doesn't it? But it can actually be much, much, much worse than inflation. During the Great Depression, we had quite a few years of deflation, averaging about 7% drop in prices a year. Again, that is not a good thing. Prices go down, that's true. But they go down because nobody's buying anything because there's so low demand because everyone's broke. If there's no demand for goods, then the people who are making the goods get fired or they close their businesses. And that just leads to more deflation, more unemployment, and more of an economic catastrophe. The Fed can easily deal with inflation just by raising interest rates, and they have that under control. The only people who like deflation are people who are holding on to a bunch of U.S. dollars. So pretty much just rich people. This chart is showing the history of the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar since the Fed came to being in 1913. So you can see the purchasing power dropped. Okay, it looked really bad, but then guess what happens? The Great Depression comes and boom, the purchasing power of the dollar starts to actually increase. It stays high like this until 1940 until the economy stabilizes and then the dollar begins to lose its purchasing power again. So yes, if you own all your property and you have tons of cash, you may like deflation. But if you're the government or a regular person, you hate it. Regular people who don't have a lot of dollars are going to hate deflation because, of course, they're broke. And even if you own a home, the prices of those assets will drop. One reason why the government hates deflation so much is because, let's say you make $100,000 a year. All of a sudden, the prices of everything drops by 10% because of deflation. Technically, you got a 10% raise, and the government can't tax it. And the second, maybe biggest reason why the U.S. government hates deflation so much is because we are so debt heavy. All right. If there is deflation, that means our economy is suffering, which means the government collects less tax revenue, less revenue to keep us going. But if we have a lot of debt, which we do, then the interest payments that we're making on that debt cost us a lot more because we are getting less revenue, but we are paying the same amount of interest with dollars that become more expensive. Just because Elon Musk is saying this doesn't mean it's going to happen, even though that is on my horizon. I don't think it's inevitable because all the Fed really needs to do is just print more money. If we print more money, then we have inflation, which is the opposite of deflation.